Hello, it's Jules, back again with another unboxing of a toy. And today, I have with me Batman, the Kotobukiya Ikemen series Batman. It's the special uh, first edition, which comes with a bonus part. So, uh, if you've seen my previous video on uh, Sexy Nightwing and his glorious muscular butt, um, you will know that Kotobukiya has a series of uh, pretty much anime reinterpretations of Batman characters. Uh, I actually thought it was going to be a series of um, just comic book characters in general because they have a series of uh, female comic book characters a comic book character figures called uh, B Shoujo, and um, I'm, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. Anyway, I am like crazy about those figures. I have bought like so many, as you can see on this shelf here. Uh, you can see I've got a lot of the horror inspired ones. I think on the top shelf that's just out of frame, I have plenty of the Marvel characters up there and uh, some video game characters. Anyway, um, yeah, so they also have a selection of male characters called Ikemen. Oh, fuck, am I repeating myself? I'm repeating myself. Anyway, like I said, um, so far they've only released a bunch of Batman related ones. So there's Nightwing, which I have done in a previous video. Um, there's also uh, Red Hood. I unboxed that without doing a video on it because uh, I was just impatient to unbox it. There's also Batman here, which we will be unboxing today. And there's also uh, Damien Robin, so that's the Damien Wayne version of Robin, and Red Robin, who is the Tim Drake Robin, which is personally my favourite Robin. He seems the coolest of all of them. The least baggaged one, at least from what I understand of the uh, Robin canon. I don't know, maybe I'll unbox those two today. But the main focus of today's is the big old bat himself, Bruce Wayne, and Batman. So this is the special first edition variation. It comes with an extra face part right there. You can't actually see it, but we're gonna open it up soon and I will do a close up to the lens so you can take a look at it. Um, this is this came actually in a quite a large box. Uh, you can't really tell from a video, I guess, but um, most Boxes of these like EK Men uh, B Shoujo figures are just like about two thirds this size. Uh, I guess the actual figure is very big. Let's just take a look at the box itself first, shall we? So it's very classily done. It's pretty much mostly all black around packaging. On the right side, we have illustrated portrait of Batman looking serious. Mm. I'm gonna get you, Joker. Alfred, prepare the car. Those are, those are just famous catchphrases, right? Yeah. Uh, on the back, we have the EK Men logo, a silhouette version, the word Batman, so you know it's Batman in case you're an idiot. Um, same with the top. It's really simple, it's very minimalistic. Here we have a monochrome version of the same illustration, and of course, we have the little gold sticker right here, letting you know that it's the first edition. I really like the packaging for this. It's simple and, uh, like I said, I, I think it's a little bit classy as well with the little gold sticker there. I don't know. I'm just kind of bullshitting at the moment. I didn't write a script because I don't like to write scripts because I'm lazy. Anyway, let's take him out and take a look at what you get in the box. Okay, so immediately, as I'm taking this out, it's a oh, that's a very strong magnet there. So it's uh, rather than having the little grooves in the feet and like little things sticking out of the base plate, uh, it's magnetic, and it's very very powerful magnet as well. <laughs> it takes a little bit of force to actually pull it apart. Um, let's just take that off. Ooh. I'm not sure if you can see it there, but it's like felty kind of feeling there. It's got the little trademark, made in China, as everything is. Anyway, oh, and the bat signal there. 
as you can see it's reflective you can see the reflection of the camera in it isn't that a nice peek behind the, the wind whatever. Yeah, whatever let's take a look at the Batman himself Ooh, why did I make that noise yes here he is Bruce Wayne look how angry he is he's ready to kick the crap out of the Riddler or something I don't know he's I don't know if he's actually ever fought the R Riddler like you know combat style the Riddler seems like he's just like a cheeky fellow who likes likes riddles because he's called the Riddler anyway so as you can see he's got the uh sort of more old school kind of bat logo on the chest there he is quite muscular as you can see the paint there's a lot of detail in the muscles uh also the abs Look at that junk right there. Look at that bulge. A bat penis. Oh wow, look at that. <laughs> look at those glutes. Man, he's kind he's pretty ripped in this thing. I assume this is not like, you know, the modern day tactical armor style. These are tights that are just like pinching at his leg muscles. Oh, there's a bit of foam behind here. Ah, let's get rid of that. And you got his boots. Yes. Cape is also very nicely detailed. You can see the flowing fabric there. Nice and long, splayed out at the bottom. Let's put the base plate. Bang! Oh, that is that is a very, very firmly magnetized base plate. But yes. There we go. Let's take a look at his big old ugly face. Arr, I'm Batman. Yeah, I think I already did a Batman voice not good at a Batman voice. Anyway, let's look at the face parts that come with it. Okay, so this Batman figure comes with two head parts. You have the mask part, so as to hide his identity. Although, like, I don't know, does everyone know who Bruce Wayne is in the uh, Batman uh, series? Is? I'm pretty sure a lot of them, he people don't know him, but like, I feel like in the latest DCEU, uh, everyone knows that he's Bruce Wayne and that uh, Clark Kent is Superman. Like, yeah, that's just weird. Anyway, here's his mask. He's got the little ears, not like the Schumacher long ears, or I think, it was long ears in the, the Christian Bale one as well. It doesn't matter. Anyway, here's the face with the mask on. <laughs> I like to go on tangents, I'm sorry. And here is the so-called first edition bonus piece where he's supposedly smiling but if you look closely it's just sort of like a neutral face I wouldn't necessarily call it a smile it's just sort of like a mm, mm, face yeah. this isn't a smile is it anyway <laughs> yeah it's actually near identical to the angry face I have to say compare them side by side the, the difference is is very minor one of them just looks slightly angrier. I actually like the angrier one better than this one, but you know, it's very nicely detailed. The hair is very like hairy. I don't know. There's a lot of grooves. <laughs> it's not just like a flat uh, Ken wig, but that's, that's, that's the thing with these um, Kotobukiya Ikemen uh, dolls. There's a lot of detail in them and I really appreciate that. Anyway, let's get to the glamour shots. So there you have it, it's EK Man Batman. I really like this statue actually. It, it feels, it's very hefty. Uh, I really like the base plate. I love that, like, here, that, that magnetism of that back, uh, base plate. Um, I am so much more an advocate for the magnetic feet than I am for the little groove to things. Uh, it also, you know, makes it feel a little bit more premium with a bit of metal on the 
on the whole PVC setup here. This is a very nice statue indeed. Uh, th there's actually going to be a uh, Joker uh, EK Men coming up sometime next year. I have not put a pre-order for it because I don't have the money at the moment for it. Um, I'm hoping not to have to pre-order it, but hopefully it will look very nice next to Batman here. As you can see, I've chosen to go with the non-masked angry version of Batman here. Um, I, I like this head the best. It's the most expressive. The bonus first edition part, eh, it's okay. It's not the best, to be honest. The face is supposed to be a smiling Batman, but it looks too neutral for me. But then again, like with Batman, I think it would be weird if you had him like with a really goofy smile on his face or something. He's supposed to be, you know, the Dark Knight, uh, you know, broody. Mr. Dark Hero guy. If I had to rate this out of 10, I'd give it a solid 9 out of 10. Uh, the It loses 1 for the weird head, but like that's really minor. It's a very, very good quality product. A lot of detail. Love that Batcock. Um, how do I finish after saying Batcock? I don't know. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, hopefully I will be doing the rest of the Bat Family EK Men figures that I have. But until then, please stay tuned to my channel and uh, enjoy the rest of your day. I don't know. I never know how to close these out. I'm Batman! No 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 Batman no 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 Batman 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 Batman